start again. All right, hey guys, Mitch here, and I, today I'm going to take a quick look at Elastic Drum's new features in 2.0. And the first feature is, see where it says another machine right up here. So now it shows the preset name that you're in, and it also has divided up into user presets. So if you have your own user preset, it'll put it in here. The factory presets are there, and then additional presets that you can purchase are in there so I thought that was really good as far as the scene change I know some people there was a thread I didn't look at it. I just looked at the title that beware elastic drums deletes your factory presets and the new update and that could be because of the uh, the way he restructured the um, presets but anyway so let's look at the Ableton Live set export and I was looking around for it and it's underneath the record option here so if I click on the little circle record where you get the record option you have some different options record multiple channels I'm assuming that that means record multiple channels as far as the different instruments synced recording options you can do just one pattern you can do a song or you can do manual and then you start record and then you once you record then you can export but you have to record first and so if you do pattern it's just gonna do the one pattern that you're currently on so let's do start record there it goes so now it's recording it and it stopped Okay, so now it recorded that one pattern, and if I export it, I hit that, and I can hit share. And then send it to my MacBook, and it received it from my MacBook. And it does a zip file and basically let me get to my folders here basically what it done is it sent over a zip file computer has been a little slow okay I've been see I've been playing around alright so that's that one pattern so whenever I unzip it It looks at me funny then you get this folder and it has the Ableton Live set and then it has the samples imported and those will be the samples um, and so those correspond to the each individual instrument for that pattern and so what I would like to I would assume is if I hit song mode and then I export this as song mode I would assume that I would get pattern one here and then I'll get another set pattern two another set pattern three another set pattern four like that and then whenever you import it into Ableton it would look like scene one scene two scene three scene four but that's not the case right now I'm not sure if that's a future update but as of right now when you go like this right here I know this is the kick drum and if you're familiar with Ableton Live, then you will uh, understand like this is bar one. So that's one bar, and that's four kicks. And so if I want to just play what was on scene one, I can just drag this over, hit play, and it's just going to play that pattern. Okay. And so that, was a, that would be an easy way, easy fix. And so if I want to insert a scene... I just want to copy this. I just hold Command and I hold Option and drag it over. I'm on a Mac. And see, now that's there. And so what I can do is I can just move this over to there. But it's a little bit off. And so I can zoom in and drag there and then play.
Okay, so that's that. And you could do that with each of them. So you, each of them are broken up into the different, different bars. And so if I solo, this is what it was actually. Having a little bit too much fun with the sampler. Um, that's just that's just me whistling. I just whistled one time, and then I copied it a couple times and just played around with the pitch and stuff. Pretty cool. I thought it sounded really computer R two D two kind of glitchy, glitchiness. Um, that was fun. But so yeah, that's basically that's the. That's the gist of the export option is is it does not give you each individual scene. It just gives you one straight WAV file per instrument across all of the patterns. Um, and so if you had 20 patterns, then it would give you one long um, one long WAV file. And then to break it up, you could easily just go in, copy it down, copy it down, and just change the loop length and then there you go so a little bit of a manual process once you get it into Ableton but we're in the step in the right direction hopefully eventually I would like to see Mr. Developer a song option that it would export the different waves and maybe even just a uh, what is audio share export Yes. See, it does the same thing with the audio export too. Uh, let me. Guess I should pull that up. So I just exported it, unzipped it. And that was just the one pattern, but it's very similar to what it would be if you did the whole scene. It would still do it individual instruments across the board across the song um, I guess that makes it easier if you're more working in a linear fashion in Ableton so let me pull back up Ableton and so if I hit tab I go over here to the scene to the scene mode and so what I could do is tab this that's still gonna be just well let's see it's Command C to copy. Command V to paste. Okay, so there's that audio file. And so you could go through and copy. You know, and line it up this way because this is more of a linear fashion. And then you could stretch it out. You could stretch it out that way and so that would be good for that but if you're looking for more of the scene options this way it only gives you the the way file for all this for all of all of the temp, all the arrangement and one way file and you just have to break it up if you wanted to remix kind of do the the clip launching types stuff so anyway I uh, hope this was helpful I uh, gave you some insight on the export options I do plan on doing a full Ableton Live Lite tutorial, several parts to where I kind of see what you can actually do with Ableton Lite. That'll be coming up uh, in the near future. But anyway, as always, like, comment, and subscribe, uh, and share, and I will talk to you guys later.